What's good, man? Welcome back to the channel. So, as you see from the title, we did something really, really cool here, y'all. We built a catio, and it's basically a cat patio on the side of our house. And, yeah, really, really cool. Uh, uh, on the side of the animal house, and it's really, really cool. Right now, she's watching one of the dogs, so there's a hose through. But, if y'all remember, this is a big snake enclosure and then the emu enclosure. And then I put the pieces together, and so now the cats can live in here responsibly. And what I mean by responsibly is, if you keep cats, you know they breed like crazy. When people, as a civilization, keep cats and have kept cats over the years, we've always let them free roam, roam outside, and just do whatever they want because it's easy. But these guys are monsters. They're literally lions and tigers, but in a small form. So they eat birds, they eat native birds, let me say that, native mammals, and native reptiles. And so eating all of this fauna is just not good at all. You can understand why. Cats have helped put over 60 species into extinction. That's a lot of animals. And so it's not like a lion or a tiger or a bear. It's these little cats right here putting reptiles, native mammals, and native birds into extinction. And so this is how you do it responsibly. Um, it can be way bigger than this. It can be smaller than this. So many things on Pinterest you can do. And so, yeah, we just did what we could. We didn't copy an exact Pinterest idea. We just looked at what we could do and then thought, okay, we'll build it like this. So we built it. It's pretty long. I think it's about 20 feet, 26 feet long. Um, it's obviously taller than me, so probably like 9, 10 feet, 8 feet, and then width, um, 7 feet, 8 feet wide. So really, really cool. And, yeah, they got a lot of room in here. As you can see, they perch, they climb, they go up there, and I'll take y'all inside, obviously. But, yeah, man, this is just something to keep our cats responsible since my fiance did want to rescue a cat. And, yeah, let me take y'all inside. It's a real cool place. This is the mama cat. This is the reason we had to do all this. And then these are her kittens. So we leave them all in here. Where you going, girl? Because we don't want her to have any more babies, but we'll step inside. And these little kittens are just so cute, man. They got a lot of room in here to roam, do whatever they need to do use the bathroom and then obviously we feed them and yeah it's really cool so back here this is rafa and one of my kids So like I was saying, man, this part right here is where they can get sunlight if they need to all the time, 24 seven, or if they want to get rained on. And then right here, they can come and it's fully shaded, fully protected from the weather and the rain. And yeah, we're going to add a box in here so that they can go into kind of like a reptile hide box, but it'll be padded and comfortable for kitties. Oh, yeah, man. This is the most responsible thing we could do as cat owners since we wanted to rescue. <clears throat> yeah, man, this was the most responsible we could do. The most responsible thing we could do since we rescued a stray cat and then we let her go off and get pregnant. We were doing so good watching her and make sure we put her up at night and bring her in. And then it's just one night, you know, I hate to talk about people, but we got some neighbors, man, all around us that would just buy and sell cats to each other and let them free roam. So it's like, they're not keeping the cats in their house. They're just buying for different colors to breed and then they feed them. And then one of the neighbors moved. So what do you think will happen if somebody's been feeding 20 stray cats for two years straight leaves. They have no food, they're gonna come over here and get our kitten pregnant, kill our chickens like they did. And so, this is why I'm saying, man, just keep your cats put up because you're messing up the environment and you're putting homeless cats out in the world. Yeah, they can fend for themselves, but they're fending for themselves with our native wildlife and it's not good. So, 
I'm rambling, I'm ranting, I know, but I love cats, but I also don't really like what they do, so it just is what it is, man. Thank y'all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, man. We'll be updating the catio, making it bigger, making it more fun for them, and we'll be spaying and neuter these, neutering these kittens and cats that we rescued, so much appreciated, much love, and hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.